Maya coming to you with another video and yes this is my junk drawer yeah it's supposed to be a utensil drawer um yeah so help me to organize this place here we go so as you can see my friends as the sesame street song goes some of these things just doesn't belong here can you tell me which one is it before the sun goes down okay so um we're gonna go to the dollar tree and see what we can find to help to organize this drawer here we go I think the Dollar Tree is the first place that you need to start when you're looking for um, containers for organizing your stuff. Um, they have a wide selection of um, organizers or containers and uh, yeah, they seem to be in good quality as well and different colors and um, different sizes as well. Now um, you need to make sure that you're measuring your drawer before you go out there and start to shop for containers for your drawer. Um, yeah, but Dollar Store is a place to go. So these are what I came away with my friends. I hope this um, works. I did not measure um, the area that I'm going to be doing, but I hope this does its job. Okay, friends, so this is what I'm working with. So, the first thing I'm actually going to do is take out every single thing. Oh, look at this. <music> dirty that is my friends this is real life Actually comes in handy. Perfect. See? That's all folks. That's all you get on a Dollar Tree um roll. Not much. Oops. Here. I don't know, my friends. Let me see what setup you like better. Like this. This is A, this is B. So that was A, this is B. So I think I like A better. So let's see. I'm going to see how well I really like this. I really like this. Okay. I'm going to put stuff that I don't use often at the back. So maybe in here. Right? And it's a good time to throw it 
you would think I'm drinking a lot of wine in here this is a bottle opener but let's leave it in here these are for my teas okay can openers again I am in the market for a good can opener maybe I should go and buy a, an electric can opener instead I bought this one and it's no longer opening the cans properly so I'm going to actually toss this I'm not going to hold on to it this one is partially broken but okay I'm gonna have to replace this but I won't throw this out yet until I've replaced it first so I'm gonna leave it in here another can of opener in here a potato masher has to go in here I love that okay. I don't know if I need to um, graters those mini graters these are what I use for grating my nutmeg for my porridge like stuff like these can go back into the baking cupboard I don't need these in this drawer I need my potato peeler also in here see again another grater why do I need three mini graters I don't think I do I am going to I think I'm going to toss this one I shouldn't say toss I think I'm going to donate that one okay so then I need a ice cream scoop I'm going to put it in here because I don't really use it often yeah okay and I get another coffee spoon really uh -huh. okay it's looking good okay so of course these are For the mixer it's gonna go into the baking cupboard i feel like this is a junk drawer plus a um, utensil drawer i don't know um if i should have um junk stuff in here oh this plastic spoons have a spot for them this has a spot already I'm feeling like I need to have wow another pizza um, cutter why do I why do we need two pizza pizza cutters I don't know I think we should donate one hmm. another peeler wow do we need to peel it and the funniest thing they both work so nicely they really work very nicely I don't know if we need to but whatever I feel like I need to have a oh, a drawer with pens and markers I'm not going to save the batteries um I don't even know what these keys are for. What do they open? I have no idea. I feel like I can't throw them out though because of the fact that I don't know where they belong. Right? I like to keep a flashlight in this drawer. Oh, oh maybe the battery is dead. You need to have a flashlight in the kitchen at all times. I need another small basket right here for sure. And sometimes you need a pen in the kitchen. So I'm going to leave that there. These I'm going to find somewhere else to put them. This is my lunch thing. I'm going to leave it here because I, I normally use it. So all these um, tools and stuff needs to go into a different spot. So I'm going to put these in a different spot. I will not put them back in this drawer. But I know for sure that we need pens in this one. 
and some um, writing material. So I'm going to leave that there. These are going to go somewhere else. And for now, I think I'm going to probably leave some tape in here as well. Because sometimes we need to tape stuff up. But I'm going to find a basket for that size. I think it looks good. It looks better than it was before. I still, I still need to kind of thin this one out a bit. So these are the ones that I don't use often, but I still need to thin it out. Now these are what we use for teas, and these are for the Keurig uh, machine. So I'm going to save these actually in here. I don't know why I need two, but I do have two. So I'm actually gonna, cause this is like for stuff for the teas. Okay, so let me show you the rest. So this is what it looks like now, my friends, after cleaning it. This is all the stuff that needs to find your home or garbage. All of this is not going back. None of these actually are going back. They're gonna go into the garbage or find new homes for them. This is what I want the drawer to look like. I need to get another basket from the Dollar Tree to go right here The simple stuff. Now that's more like it. Thank you for watching my friends and remember regardless of where you begin you can end with something better